Hey guys, it's me Zinkberg. Welcome back to the Craftworks SMP. I have a load in store for you today. We did some pranking with some fellow crafters. Some of it went terribly wrong. We did some building around here in this area. We've given this area a name and I did some starting work on a storage area. Let's get straight into it. And so this is where it all started. I was standing around in this area thinking I wanted to do some pranks on some people. I had some ideas for some things and uh, I managed to grab together a couple of the crafters and this is what happened. So for starters, we managed to get our hands on a charged <laughs> creeper and I come up with this great idea that we would put this charged oh, creeper into the wall it. over here. Through this, through this and just go straight in around. Wait, make sure it's tracking you. Boys, what's the game plan here? Oh, oh, oh no, it's on me, it's on me. I know and I've gone down in, I've gone down into the red zone. Okay, 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 okay. Someone grab me. it. Good. It's okay. on you again. So I'm looping around now what I do. But we're going to block it off as as you run around. Okay, block it up. Okay, I've got I've got blocks, yeah. Have we blocked up both yep, sides? It's, it's blocked on this side too, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so what do I do with mine? They didn't fail. <laughs> I didn't uh, have a plan for a second one, Lane. <laughs> let's block it off. Okay, hold on. Well, hold on. I'm just going to take it and get get more heads over here. What I didn't tell my fellow crafters was that they were going to be the victims of that charged creeper. I was going to chase them down and uh, and try and explode it onto one of them. But as you'll see later on, that all goes horribly wrong. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm, we managed to put together a little thing for Empress Little Bit. Have a look at what happened here. Okay, I think it's starting to look pretty good. I'm not too worried about that charged creeper for now. Uh, we'll deal with that oh. later. Um, but I have got a plan for Empress Little Bit, and that is why these carts are going up and down like this. So let me explain what's going to happen here. Hopefully, this will work out the way that I plan. <laughs> look at these random cards just bouncing. I know. <laughs> And so this was the plan, was to get Empress Little Bit to come over here unbeknownst to her um, that we had set this thing up and that she would see us popping up and out, out of the ground. And with Empress Little Bit, everything always ends up a little bit chaotic. So hopefully some fun would happen out of that. So downstairs here, we've got the redstone. It's just an etho hopper clock here that sends a signal out to four sticky pistons with slime on top where the minecarts can bounce up and down. Uh, the repeaters are just there to delay the timing a little bit so that it gives it that nice sort of random look to the timing. All we had to do then was just tidy up the area and then we were right to go. Next to the dojo, in a little field. Where'd they go? Stop Hello. it! Go away! Stop Hi. it! Oh. Ah. Hey, you next. <laughs> Hello, we oh. Hi. Hello. Oh, no. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's a head farm. Hi. Good to know. This is so great. Thanks, Hello. guys. <laughs> no, I don't want to die. I've got flowers. I have flowers. Where did you go? Ah, I survived. I think you just full on just appeared on my screen. Where did you go? A little bit after that, I was AFK dealing with my dog. And luckily I left the recording going because this is what happened. Yep, there he is. Hey, Zink. How's Zink. it going? Zink? Hello. I think he's AFK. Should I do it? No, don't I'm do it. I'm gonna do it. No. Paula, stop thinking about it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. No. Oh, gosh. Yeah, no, I'm leaving. Bye. Come here, sir. I have a job. Just real quick. Come here. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> that was 
have white finger than I thought. <laughs> that is so obnoxious. <laughs> I thought I was going to come back to soup, not to that. Charge creepers really hurt, man. Oh my god. Okay, so it's not in that random pile of junk. Uh, what about in this random pile of junk? No, it's not in here either. Um, hmm. I guess it's upstairs. You know what, guys? I'm going to have to do something about my storage system. I extended it out. I've got a whole lot of sort of empty ones in the middle here that I can throw things in. But this whole thing of having to manually sort stuff is kind of bugging me. I I tend to lean away from automatic um, sorters because they tend to lag out a little bit. And But I think I might have to do it. We'll have a think about that. Okay, so I have decided I do need a, uh, I need a sorting system, so I'm going to need to take this beacon with me. And we will put it out here at Panda Cove. And I am not sure why I got that achievement, because I got that last time I placed it. <laughs> anyway, it's one of those server things, I guess. Now to Instamine. Oh, man. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was thinking about the task of digging all of this out, and now that is so much easier. What a relief. All right, well, I'll get to work on this, and I'll see you on the other side of it. And so it begins. I have... <laughs> I've dug out a little bit of a hole. It's not huge, you know? Like, it's not massive. And this place is messy as anything right now because I'm still trying to work out what I'm doing here and how this is going to work. Um, so let's have a look and see what I've done. So the idea will be to go all the way around here. What I'm thinking is... We set it up a bit like a, a shopping aisle, right? So I'm going to have like, these are the compartments for the, for the sorting system. And the feed in line comes from over there. I'll show you in a second. Um, and these are going to run all the way down. And then I think I'm going to take them here and go along there and then come back. Now, now the other thing we don't know, we don't even know if this works. <laughs> Right? I think I've built this right. I've gone from memory. Um, so I have a feeding line coming in, which are all facing that way. Right? So the items will come along these hoppers here. I'll put some I'll put some blocks above them so that they're not reading constantly. I don't think these ones read. I don't know. These ones here are facing away that way. Inside each of these is an item and some named sticks right so i've just named some sticks sorted so that if i put sticks in the system they don't get sorted through here right so we have dirt in this one here we have rooted dirt in this one here then we have a comparator we don't have a comparator there anymore because i just clicked it for some reason <laughs> Okay, we have a comparator here, sends a redstone signal down. So when this signal, like these will fill up to 41, then it'll send a signal down here, down to here, which then goes into the repeater, which is there, which turns this off, 
which allows this to open and then the next one that goes past will drop down into there providing it fits the bill of the thing above it, right? So providing it's a piece of dirt, it'll go into here. If it's a piece of coarse dirt, it'll go into the next one. Um, if I was to put anything else in this system, it will cease to exist. So let's go up here and just have a look. Now, I've done this intentionally this way. Uh, I, as I say, I haven't finished Forget About In There. We're just testing the system to make sure it works. Um, so I've intentionally left uh, a hopper open here. That is intentional, right? Because I don't want to be placing a shulker box here, emptying the context into, into here, then letting it run through. So if I have a shulker box, I can just place it down on top of here it'll feed through. The only downside to that is as I break the shulker box, it's likely to go into the system. But here's the trick. I will have an overflow, which will be any item which isn't sorted through any of this, which should feed back to me back in this area here. I say these fancy things like I know how to do them. I don't know how to do them. We'll see if I do know. I, I can work out redstone, so that's fine. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to let's say we're gonna we're gonna stick in. I don't want them all to go in all in one go. Right? Uh, we're going to just test this. So we're going to put in, let's say, eleven dirt. We'll put in uh, fifteen rooted dirt. Then we'll put in 11 more dirt and then we'll put all of this dirt here in there. Now, as you can see, it ticks through a little bit slow, right? It's not super fast, but the intention is that while I'm around here, just doing whatever, that this will just be ticking away, sorting my items out for me. So then we're going to come down here. If this has worked out correctly, in this one here, we should have dirt. In this one here, we should have rooted dirt. So here we should have dirt filling up. We do. And and so I've just set this up because some of these things are going to need triple chests essentially, right? Um, I won't really easily be able to access that chest back there, but that doesn't bother me too much. That, that's not too much of an issue. Um, most of what I will take out will be from here. Um, and then a third chest up the top. Because stuff like dirt and stone, I mean, you've got to look at this. This is just from digging out this, this room. So I've already got a, a triple chest full of stone. So I guess there's nothing else to do other than uh, get to work and start building tons of these um, sections behind me. Well, do you think I'm going to do it right now? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm probably going to do that over the next week or so as I need them, I think. Okay, 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 okay. I'll do a couple more. So here, this is what I've done. I've basically laid out just a row of eight here. Um, we have, what's this one? This one is, oh, this is granite. Granite's coming in now. But that's just a start just to sort of see where I'm yeah, where I'm up to with it all. I think that's enough for this week. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate every single one of you. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you so much for all your support. Um, I will catch you next week. Have a great week. See you then. Bye.